Welcome everybody to a Monday night's empowerment session. We will be talking about adaptogens and heart health tonight. And as always, my goal is to empower people through education so that they can take charge of their health and hopefully be more informed to make the decision that is best for them. So let's jump right in and let's hear from Ms. Peterson. Hello, everybody. Val, thank you so much for having me on tonight. I love talking about this subject because this is the reason why my husband, Damon, became a soul believer and why now um, he tells everybody about it and is so faithful because for his whole life, his cholesterol was super high. Like even late 20s, early 30s, they were constantly telling him his um, cholesterol was high. My dad died when we were in our early 30s, and so we both decided to start going to a cardiologist. And um, somewhere after that, they started giving us a hard time about um, him taking statins. And he would come home and feel bullied almost, like, you know, this is the only answer to your problems is statin. And I knew from my research and from his grandmother, the day she started taking statins, within that week, she um, could hardly walk. Like, it affected her muscles. So I kept holding him, holding him off and holding him off. And um, finally, I was like, look, just give me a chance. Give me three months because three months is how often he has blood work. And so he did. And he took Excel every day. He was faithful. And he had his blood work done. And it dropped 10 points. And then I think sometime after that, we started him on two packets of Excel and we read in the experiences page that adding a pack of Cinemate really um, helped with cholesterol. So he did that. So I think by the end of it all, his, his cholesterol had dropped 25 or 30 points to the point that he went back to the doctor. It was within normal range. And her response to that was, is well, I still want you to take statins. <laughs> I was just like, no, you're not doing that. And he even thought it was laughable. And, you know, even now he's so excited that he was able to control it. And I even had another client. She was older and her husband had a tight rein on what she spent. And so she bought a box of Excel and he said, if your numbers don't drop, you can't take it anymore. Well, they dropped just with one packet a day, 25 points. I was so thrilled. So uh, just a testament to what Excel does. It's an amazing product and it for sure in our life helped with cholesterol and adding the, um, the Cinemate in there just gave it a kick. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you need your husband to be a believer, put him on Excel. Okay, Mwah. love you all, bye. I love this testimony so much for so many different reasons. One thing is the benefits. You know, when people ask me, are there side effects to these products or formulas with adaptogen? I'm like, no, we're not looking at side effects. We're looking for benefits. In fact, it ends up being additional benefits that you're not expecting. Whereas I could always tell very quickly um, when I had my brick and mortar, whenever someone was put on a statin because one of the first things I would notice is how their memory was impacted. They would have a hard time remembering things that I was very familiar with how they would navigate, you know, in my shop or have a conversation before and that would change drastically, or they would talk about joint and muscle pain. So there was obvious things. So to have this type of results with using the Excel and the Cinemate is very, very common. And it's an added benefit that many people don't expect. Um, whenever they start the sole products. And it's so simple. So I love this. Thank you for sharing this, Tammy. So I wanted to come in and specifically address um, some of the adaptogens that are known as being beneficial for cardiovascular health. And so we're going to start off with this one right here. And yes, that is the, the fruit or, and flower of it, but Eleuthero is known because it is outstanding um, for reducing the stress response when it comes to the heart. It is also known for lowering cholesterol, helping to balance blood pressure. I like this, this is very important too, stress-induced thrombosis, which of course is blood clots. So a lot of people aren't aware of how stress impacts our blood flow, our blood um, circulation. 
uh, so far as the red blood cells being nice and separate whenever um, they're flowing through the system as opposed to being clotted up or stacked on top of each other, where the proper term is relowing, where they literally look like they're stacked on top of each other like pancakes, and we don't want that. So uh, Eleuthero has been shown to help prevent that. And then vasodilation. So what products have we got Eleuthero in? We have it in both the vital and the adaptable. So again, this is a uh, adaptogen specifically tied to cardiovascular health. The Soul Complete, people might be surprised to find out has a Luthero in it as well. Now, Rishi is another beautiful mushroom that people aren't often aware that it helps with lowering cholesterol. So again, when I talk about benefits, because, you know, for instance, our NeuroIM, it has a Rishi in it. And a lot of people are taking that for maybe brain health and having no clue that they might also get this added benefit with working with cholesterol. Also helps to um, inhibit platelet aggregation. It's a cardiovascular tonic. And uh, when we talk about tonic, we're talking about general type nutrition for, in this case, a specific area being the heart. And then it's hypotensive. So it's helping with uh, blood pressure as well. And like I said, it is in the neuro IM and it is in the ratio, or in the ratio, in the pro bio IQ. So right there, uh, people might be going, well, I don't know, I haven't done anything different. All I'm doing is adding in ProBio or NeuroIM and all of a sudden my cholesterol is better. Well, this is why. It is what I'm calling a side benefit. Then we look at, and we have right here, this beautiful American ginseng. It is also known to help protect against cardiovascular stress. It's known to help improve your oxygen uptake and usage. Now that's gonna be very important when we're looking at the heart because remember the Job, job with the heart is to circulate the blood, which is also holding and carrying our oxygen. It also helps with uh, blood glucose, uh, blood lipids, so our faster in there, and then insulin sensitivity. Well, guess what, guys? That's in our avant greens. And so if you're adding that in for your dense uh, nutrients, uh, nutrition and getting your greens in, you're also getting this ginseng that can help also with supporting with the heart. And then of course we have our Shazandra, which in general is known as being very cardioprotective and is particularly when it comes to oxidative damage. We hear a lot about oxidation and free radical damage and so Shazandra is gonna be very good at helping to prevent that. And so we see that in our vital and our adaptable. And then we also have our Raponicum or also um, known as our marl root. It is also very good as a cardioprotective. This also explains to me why when I get really, really exhausted, um, one of the things I like to mix is the vital and I put the renew in it because what happens is I get a very deep voice and my, the heart, my heart will hurt and I get inflammation in, this, in the sac around the heart. And so that tells me right there why the Renew works so well to very quickly and effectively address that. It's also been used for cardiomyopathy. It's antiarrhythmic and it strengthens the heart in general. So like I said, it's in the Renew. And then we've got this beautiful plant right here, the Rhodiola. It's also cardioprotective, so it protects that heart. And it is antiarrhythmic. It helps to normalize that blood pressure. And I thought this was very important and unique as well, helping to protect the physical heart from emotional strain. A lot of people are familiar with rhodiola. It is one of those adaptogens that uh, people have learned about over the um, last few years. But I do think when we've got someone dealing with um, and one of the ways I always identified it is they would talk to me and they would literally put their hand over their heart, their chest, like they were trying to um, plug a hole. And so that emotional strain is the way I look at it when it's impacting them physically. And that too is in the vital and the adaptable. It's also in our complete. So isn't it neat to then when we're looking at coming in and working on our gut health, we're also getting these added benefits that are coming in for the heart. So I have this from this great testimony from Chris de Villiers. Um, there's a client that was shared about with her, a 63 year old climate, 63 year old client with moderately high blood pressure and had been using this calm from the soul essentials in her baths, 
with Epsom salt at night. That was all that she had done. And her blood pressure went from 140 over 75 to 118 over 68 and had the heart rate improve as well. That is a phenomenal change. Now, keep in mind, Epsom salts also has got magnesium in it. So we had that factoring into the mix as well. And uh, so she knows she's more relaxed, less tense, calmer, and um, more sense of peace. So this is just great when you get, the, again, these unexpected benefits um, that impact our health in these ways. Hawthorne berries is the plant that I grew up um, always hearing and knowing that it was the plant for the heart or the, you know, the uh, medicinal herb for it. It is found in our avant greens. And so it has so many benefits, uh, mainly for the heart. I wanted to make certain that we looked at those. For instance, it is known as a cardiac tonic. And again, like we talked about, a tonic is all encompassing. So it's very good at strengthening that heart. It's known to work well for uh, cases with heart murmurs. It has been documented for prevention and treatment of coronary heart disease. We've got it helping to modulate or bring blood pressure into a more normal raise. If it's too high or too low, it brings it where it needs to be. It's excellent for edema, so where the, that heart is holding water and then working for enlarged heart. We also see it uh, for angina pectoris, hardening of the arteries, irregular heartbeat, palpitations, arrhythmias, heart valves, and heart weakness. So in general, it just think of it as an herb that helps just bring that all um, encompassing nutrition direct to the heart. If there's one herb that I always like to use for the heart, it is Hawthorne. And again, those Avant greens, which we saw already had some other benefits with plants that were in it for the heart as well. But Hawthorne is just a uh, go-to and I've seen many amazing results when it came to using Hawthorne for the heart. And at this point, I have asked Greg to talk about vital and heart health. So I am going to, let's see here, take the stop screen share here and do make Greg a co-host so he can take it away. Thank you, Valerie, and hello, everybody. Good to be with you. Um, I, oh, that was so interesting. I love your slides, and they're right along the lines of part of what I was going to share, and so I'll just reiterate. Um, Valerie is right. When we were formulating Soul Vital, and as this slide says, it, it is the company's foundational product. There are other, there are various that are quite foundational in their nature now that since then have been developed. But Soul Vital was the first, and there are reasons for it. And, and um, I get a chance to share some of these reasons at convention here coming up in, in three weeks. But while we were formulating, um, I can tell you originally Soul Vital was slated to be a liquid, to be, and, and we moved away from that because of the necessity to pasteurize and what that would do to it. Um, and also because of what we learned about degradation of chlorophylls, which are a key part of that. Um, they'll, they'll still be useful when they're in liquid form, but when they're in powder, they are 15 or 20 times uh, potent in what they do. And one of the main things that they do had to do with heart health. So I can tell you, as we were developing this formula, which includes, if you'll remember, the adaptogens from from Adaptable, Donna's formula, um, we actually, all of us viewed this as a heart formula. And it, it took a little bit of time as, it, as the formula was coming together for us to kind of expand our view. But it, it took a little bit for me to pull away from my mental picture of Soul Vital for the heart, starting your health change with your heart, protecting your heart, enlivening it, your heart with minerals and um, let's call it like managing your heart with adaptogens, which, which Valerie just, just beautifully taught us. Um, you think of the most stressful situations in life um, and like heart palpitations and heart beating 
um, heavy heart beating is really unavoidable with many stresses and with many types of anxieties. When we can nourish our body and put it in a, in a stronger state to react to some of those stressful situations and not put this heavy load on our heart, um, we can do something uh, life-changing for our health. So honestly, those were some of the thoughts going through my head as we were developing this formula in its very, er very early stages. When we talked about protecting, protecting your core, and I'm just gonna show a couple of slides, okay? But think about it from the context of Valerie's teaching today and, and just focusing on the heart for a second. Why all the chlorophylls? Why four different kinds? Thinking about the heart. Why all the minerals, four different herbs that are high in trace minerals? In fact, they are among the very highest of their plant classification in mineral content. That was why they were one of the key reasons why they were included. Um, and then these mood enabling adaptogens, what they do for the heart in all, really pretty much every aspect of heart health. I mean, Valerie just went over it. So we, the way we could think of to describe it in general to society, to our culture here in the West was talking about protecting our core. I don't think it gets much more core than your heart, right? And so that was the top of our list. And th these are the original Soul Vital launching slides from 2012 heart and circulatory strength, immune system strength, digestive system strength, or in other words, how nutrition gets inside us and becomes available, the very, the, that very source of energy in life. So I love to show this. Do you remember this one, Val? Because it shocked me. Maybe Val already knew this. I didn't. I had no idea that the heart produced hormones. I always thought of it as a pump. I'm supposing that we're going to learn more in time about this amazing heart. But interesting study in 2008, just a few years before we launched, that certain hormones produced by the heart eliminated abnormal cells in some pretty core health imbalances in our society. Blood sugar imbalances and everything goes with that. And cancer, breast cancer in particular, it doesn't get more challenging than the levels that we see of those in our society. And heart plays a role here. Of course, we knew it did, plays a, maybe a bigger role. So I'm gonna jump and just pardon me for jumping here. But for me, daily task number one is protecting that heart. And these wonderful greens in so many ways do that. They are protectors. Um, lots of studies about radiation about certain toxins, about certain metals, about substances that can become hardened in our arteries and things that Valerie talked about. These can be mitigated with high quality chlorophylls and other co plan components that are in this. So heart was a big part of this. Now I'm gonna jump again to, pardon me for this, for the, for the second phrase that we put on Soul Vital, which was enliven your body. And I will tell you, when we thought about the minerals, it started with heart. The heart is electric. Minerals are essential for, elect, for this, these electric impulses, right? And, when they, and we deplete them with stresses and with many things, right? Diet, big, big. So not only do we want to provide four plants really high in minerals, and here they are, but burdock. And that's, you know, Valerie and dandelion, and honestly, oat straw in its way and a nettle, but, but let Valerie teach I don't know if you did it today, Valerie, because I was a few minutes late joining you, uh, but I'm sure you have at some point. Talked a little bit more in detail about burdock in the heart as well. Another great heart herb also happens to be really high in minerals. And so the same thing with this slide when we launched. Right there at the top of the list, you're, you're looking at heart health here. And finally, I won't say much about this last one because Valerie covered it. I'll just reiterate what she said to um, conclude my remarks. But we, when we can strengthen, when we say energize your mood, we mean strengthen and energize our stress response. Ca improve our capability of handling stress the way we were built to handle stress. That directly benefits heart. And in fact, the only thing I would maybe just add, you know, Valerie mentioned Raponticum, which is part of Renew. Originally, it was slated to be in Soul Vital. I will tell you that for that reason, for its heart reason, and for the rebuilding. It's a great rebuilder of tissue that's become damaged. 
And then I will, the other one that we, we came this close to including, but we instead put it in Ver Designs is Wood Betany. And I think back, if, we, if you search back on the Wood Betany slides, we, we talk about um, palpitations. There are lots of studies with Wood Betany and, and heart palpitations. And so that, that heart focus of vital was always a big one from the start and continues to be that. Maybe it's unspoken so much right now, but I guess not after tonight, right Val? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. One of the other things I really like about Vital and I've found in, in my work with people is that it balances the sodium potassium pump. And when you get that potassium lines up, then the heart functions even more effectively. So I just, I, the more I teach about Vital, the more I understand why I use it for the core of virtually every program I use with somebody. So as you guys know, I like to teach about addressing the roots of, a, of, an, of the body or of an issue, because then we get unexpected benefits as well. And we get a much more um, efficient and effective uh, change over in the body. So what other products can we use that also help to address the roots, underlying potential ish, things that may tie in with the heart? Well, one, the soul megas. A lot of people are very well aware about omegas being heart healthy and so important. Well, of course, with our omegas in the soul megas, because they are plant-based, they're so much easier to digest. And one of the things that I used for people for you know, years to correct cholesterol was to give them the good, healthy plant fats in the soul megas, because usually people are not getting in their diet. They're getting a lot of trans fats, or too many of the omega-6s and things are out of balance and or they're just not getting something healthy, period. So adding in those omegas and getting that in is very good for heart health and helping to balance out cholesterol. The Excel, as we heard, many, many people helping to address cholesterol that way. I also wanna point out that Excel is high in B vitamins, which most people are familiar with high with stress, but not as many people know that being deficient in B vitamins can be one of the missing links that people fail to address when it comes to congestive heart failure. So getting those B vitamins in is very, very important and excel also because of how to address the lymphatics makes sense as, as well because of how it's reducing inflammation and swelling. Cinemate, so many people have underlying uh, blood sugar or insulin issues and they have no clue that issues with the heart are actually often like high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, or pre-diabetic signs. So when we come in and work with blood sugar and with the Cinemate is so good at doing that, that it also helps to um, help the heart to heal, help it to maybe slow down its progression with the health issues that it was having. So it definitely gets in and addresses roots. And then longevity, uh, because as Greg was saying, the heart does have uh, impact when it comes to hormones. And we know that D3 is very important in helping with hormone manufacture and utilization. So that just ties in beautifully when we're coming in and working and addressing the roots. So there's another part with the heart that not everyone is always familiar with that it can tie and impact physically or it takes them by surprise when it point blank shows up in their life. And that ties with things like grief, loss in general, loss maybe of a job, loss of a way of life, heartbreak, and then heart attack. I have seen every one of these impact the heart physically in different ways. The uh, soul compass blends are outstanding for bringing in whenever we're working with the heart. And I will tell you, I always, bring in a, an ascent, you know, the compass blend or either the, you know, I still have the choice also of the calm, clarify, balance or lift as well. But I really reach for these in a big way. And think of it this way, when I, um, let's look at it, for instance, grief or loss, heartbreak, any of those, uh, comfort. I've watched people literally just grab that blend and just hold it like their life depended upon it. 
and they will hold it right over the heart without even being aware of it, just because it starts to make them feel better by having it in near to it. And so I, what I tell them is, look, let's, every time you feel the need, apply it, but no matter what, we're going to do it at least four times a day, be, knowing they're going to use it more than that. But it's about just getting them in the habit to think to use it. So having comfort to work through things like this, having courage to work through the grief or through a heart attack. People are often really thrown by um, personality changes that can come when they work through a heart attack that they didn't expect. And there can often be a lot of depression, there can be anger. And so bringing in uh, the courage, the comfort, the contentment, you know, we, we've got lots of changes or confidence to move forward. And if you think it through, each one of these can make sense why it could become important to have the blend to support it. And of course, not just using it over the heart. We might also use it on the bottoms of the feet. We might use it over the liver as well, because there is a tie-in um, with the liver and the heart as well that a lot of people are, aren't aware of. And so I think the biggest thing is when we've got people working through some of these emotions, if they have something that they can physically put their hands on to use at that moment to smell and get that immediate response from the limbic system, it helps them feel like they're going to make it and they can breathe that next breath. They can step through that next minute that's in front of them, they can step through that next hour, that day, and the time gets less foreboding to them. Heart is... Think of how many phrases we have uh, that have the heart, word heart in it, like, you know, put, putting your heart into something, um, for instance. So that means putting your all in. So heart to me is bigger than just the organ. And it's very, very important that we remember that. And with the compass blends, it really comes in to help support that. Another phenomenal testimony, um, and this was from Lois Trippett talking about when they had their brick and mortar, said they had a gentleman who had had a stroke and they were very familiar because they'd been working with him for three years and he could only say a few words and it would take them almost half an hour just to figure out why he had come in. So her husband, Mark, had talked to him about taking the Cinemate and the Vital. And this was on a Tuesday. On that Friday of that week, he came back in, which was only three days later and he could actually speak sentences. Guys, this is so incredible to have opportunities to change lives like this. I hope you all, each time that you hear one of these stories or sit down to, to, to learn from either me or any, any of the other great phenomenal educators out there when it comes to soul, just get more and more excited about the impact that these products are having in, in, in people's lives. And we can't keep this to ourselves. We have to let people know. We have to share it. So... Everyone is familiar at this point with that I like the Bella Health Program and those basics along with the longevity, our plant source D3 is you know, what primarily most people uh, start with when I start them with soul. And now you can understand at this point, every single one of those products, also because of what Greg said about the Verdesimes as well with the wood betony, how it can tie into heart health. I will also tell you that Verdezymes, when you break your food down properly, you will have um, blood that is, we'll call it slicker. It flows through the circulatory system much easier. It doesn't coagulate as much. And that's what we want. We want um, to have that, that blood move through easily as our heart propels it through the body. So very, very exciting to me that every single one of these products comes in and helps support heart health. And our um, quote is, if you don't take care of your body, where are you going to live? And I just thought, you know, it's such a basic statement, but it's really true. We don't get another option. And it's amazing to me how often people don't think twice about how they take care of their car or their animals or what attire they're going to wear. But when it comes to nutrition or lifestyle changes or getting out and moving or drinking water, somehow that requires more thought and they have to decide whether or not it's well worth it to do. To me, it is a given, you know, taking care of my health so that I can better navigate what is, comes my way makes all the difference and it's absolutely worth it. So next week, 
we will be talking about your body's check engine lights. I'm very excited to be teaching you different ways to listen to your body to where it's going to show you maybe different areas that you need to support. So many times people come walking in uh, when I had the brick and mortar and say, how did you know this? And to me, it's, it's all right there in front of them as much as I can tell that their hair was brown or blonde or black. I mean, it's that evident to me. So I'm excited to get to the opportunity to share that with you guys. So hopefully you will join me next Monday at 6.30 so that we can do that.